Okay, hello everybody, this is Bud Rich and this video will be about subscribing because soon, soon there are 2k, 2k, Bud Labs 2k, you know, whatever. But it will not be about YouTube subscriptions, it will be about subscribing to i3 events with a built-in uh, i3 message subscribe method or, or function here. Uh, which is a fairly new addition to, to i3. I think they added it in, in uh, version 4.16 and we are at 4.16.1 now or something. Let's go to the uh, i3wm.org. This is the official uh, uh, homepage for i3, you know. Yeah, latest version 4.16. For Point one. Point sixteen was the version where they introduced uh, uh, this this thing. So it's it's only been around for, for, for less than a year, but it's not brand new, you know. If we go to docs here, interprocess communications, IPC, blah blah blah. Here you can read more about how this works. And I don't know, th this page make it look more complicated than it have to be in one way, but I I think the i3 documentation is so good. It's if, if you compare it to other uh, window managers documentations, it's it's uh, it's very good. Whatever. Uh, this is how this works. You can you can subscribe to different events, and those events are listed here: uh, workspace event output mode, window bar config binding, shutdown, and tick. And uh, the one we will focus on today is binding, because uh, we will try to, to create uh, my little notification thing here. You see this, when I fire up a, a i3 key binding, uh, you can see the notification there is changing. So we are going to try to make, uh, uh, make this one from scratch, and I, I, I do this by using this uh, subscribe method. And um, the reason to use this uh, subscribe method is... Uh, is um, <coughs> instead of using normal IPC libraries, because uh, I think they are listed here as well. Here, uh, you know, there are a bunch of, of uh, I, I3 IPC li libraries here uh, for C, C, Go, JavaScript, Lua, Perl, Python. This is the one that I have been using the most. And I, I, I think this, this one is really good. You can say what you want about Python, but this is a good uh, IPC library. And, and uh, you know, all languages have their place, and I think Python is excellent for, for these kinds of things. Uh, but there are for Rust, and, and even OCaml has its <laughs> library, which is really cool. Um, but if you use this method, then you don't need any uh, external uh, third-party libraries. You can use, uh, you can use, uh, yeah, let's fire up the command so we can see what I'm talking about. If I press super E here, that will focus Thunar. And there, you can see it focus Thunar. I also got my own notification here, but we also get this output here, which is a one line of compact JSON uh, that's displayed here. And if I press super F, that will focus uh, pale moon and so on. Super shift enter that will uh, focus uh, this terminal itself. So as you can see, it prints uh, informa information to standard out and it keeps on listening for, for the type of event you have specified in this block here. Um, and then you can uh, further pipe this uh, output to uh, whatever you want, you know. You could pipe it to Python if you wanted to, but we are going to pipe it to awk. Even if I know that there is this great uh, JSON parsing command line utility called JQ. Check this out, if I press super E now, we get a, uh, the JSON looks like this instead, it's, it, it's beautiful. But I, I, I don't know how to use JQ, let's just leave it at that. I know it exists, but uh, we will do this in awk. I have prepared a script here called subkeys. So if we move this, or you know what, let's do this. Or no. If we want to parse this with awk, which we want, uh, we could do a simple awk here, just print each record, you know, dollar zero. Dollar zero here is not needed, uh, but whatever. Awk print dollar zero, that will print each record. So super E, super S, and as you can see, the output looks just the same here because 
uh, Orc by default, uh, each record uh, in Orc is uh, separated by a new line. Uh, so, but uh, if we look closely at the uh, JSON here, maybe it's even more uh, uh, clear if we look at this, the JQ output. We can see that most records, not every record, so to speak, is terminated by a comma. I know this; it's far from perfect. This you will see soon some some uh, some uh, issues we will get here, but we will fix them. We will at least get our notification here. But uh, if we if if we change the record separator from new line, since this only spits out one single line, it, it, it we cannot use awk uh, in its default state. But if we change this record separator from new new line to an record separator in awk, it's called RS. It's a built-in variable inside awk. So you can either set it on the command line here by specifying the V option to set the, a, an, a variable inside awk, or you could could uh, set the RS variable, yeah, inside uh, the awk block itself, whatever. But we do it. I I like to do it like this. So we set rs to a comma. Now if I run this, press super E. Now we can see it, uh, uh, the records are separated like this. Um, and awk also have, you know, um, it prints dollar uh, zero. That's the whole record. Normally the whole line. In this case, yeah, you know. But then you also have dollar one, dollar two, dollar three, etc. Uh, in in um, orc by default, uh, those and those represent fields, you know. And normally, orc uh, uh, orc's field separator, which is different from the record separator, the field separator is white space. Um, but we cannot use white space either because rem remember this is. This is like a minified JSON, meaning all unnecessary white space is removed. So many uh, lines might not contain any white space whatsoever. Like here, we cannot do dollar one. Dollar one will be this if we do it in Orker. We could even test it, uh, and then super e. And now you can see uh, it, the output looks almost the same except for the command here, because the command contains a string and that string contains contains spaces. So we need to change the field separator as well, uh, or need to, but we will. And I like to set it to a colon, because uh, colon is, is what's used in JSON to separate uh, 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 the name of a, of a key uh, with its uh, content. So if we change this, maybe we should do dollar two instead and see what we get. Super E, and here we can see there's only one line that contains spaces in in our output here, or one record. So this is the only dollar two we got here. But if we change the field separator, and you do that with a capital F, uh, um, and we set it to colon, and now super E. Now we can see dollar uh, two contains everything after the colon on each record there that's uh, what we uh, that's our starting point here so we'll copy this uh, paste it in to this uh, uh, um, file here or a script I have created called subkeys so now I can execute subkeys and it should do the same thing super e and it prints dollar two of each uh, uh, record there good. Another thing I will do now is, is kill this uh, um, notification thing. I have a key binding for that as well. We can see it here. Why? Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, let's start. Um, inside of this block, we will write all we need here and everything in awk. We will even execute the dumbest notification from within awk. We'll see how far we get in this first video. Um, let's print all all lines or all, all records again here, so, so we can see what it is we need to catch. Super E. Um, and also the notifications. Now I close them. Maybe that was stupid, but uh, whatever. Uh, the format I would like uh, is. Uh, 
I want a notification to, to look something like Super E here, for example, that executed uh, Thunar here. Um, I want the notification to say Super E and then uh, Command. And the command, we can see the command here. Like this, but we want to trim this a bit. I, I, I don't want this i3 specific things. Uh, and we can also see here uh, super e. It doesn't say super anywhere, but it says mod four. So mod four means uh, means uh, the super key. This is uh, a list of modifiers. If I have more modifiers, let's say uh, super control shift e, we get this output here. And now you can see uh, one of the issues we get when we are using comma as the record separator, because here control shift and mod all of those belongs to the same uh, uh, list here uh, in, inside this uh, square brackets but uh, uh, you separate the elements of a list in json with also with a comma so so this is something we need to to, to keep in mind but uh, i would like to change uh, change this a bit, uh, get this, and then we also finally have the symbol here, which is uh, the, the actual key. So, so it, you can separate uh, a key binding into two parts. You have the symbol and you have the modifiers. And modifiers, I think it's easy to understand. It's shift, control, alt, uh, and so on. Uh, and then you have this symbol. And this... Uh, 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 with, with, with this information we can draw the conclusion that uh, what we really need here is these three uh, uh, records. The symbol, the command and the list of modifiers. We could paste it. The rest of, of, of the uh, key binding output here is, uh, are things we, we don't really need uh, in, in, this, uh, in the thing we are doing here. And remember, field separator is colon, so this is $1. It will look like this. Um, so we could start by trying to uh, creating uh, some variables inside awk here that contains the symbol, the command and the modifier list. So we do a test here if um, $1 is uh, symbol and here I write it like this uh, like a regular expression and this uh, this means it must be an exact match and I like to write it like this uh, because then you can use uh, double quotes like normally inside the regular expression here you, th this could also be written like this it's the exact same thing uh, if dollar one is exactly uh, let's see there, there, symbol, escape, double quote, double quote. These two are, I mean the same thing, exactly the same thing. But as you can see, this is kind of inconvenient, just annoying way to write it. This looks much cleaner and easier to maintain. But if $1 is a symbol, then we store $2 in a variable. We can call it ksym for now is equal to $2. Then we do the same for command and mods here. So command mods, and we can say this is kcmd and this is k mod. Okay, um, uh, and then we could also try to to create one of these uh, uh, like a fake uh, output here with with how we want it to look like. And we want something like print uh, k mod, and then a plus, and uh, k sum. And below that, we want the line uh, k c m d. Uh, but here now, we will we cannot just add this uh, directly here. First off, we need to put it inside a action block like this uh, because print needs to be inside an action block in awk um, but if we execute this sub keys now we'll get a really weird output i guess uh, super e yeah we get this blah 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 the last one here that is actually uh uh correct that that is what i what i want here 
but as you can see it, it does this it prints prints these things on every record because that's what this action block it this action block uh, is executed and yeah orc you know it works like that it it it, it does everything on each record so it tests here if dollar one is uh, uh, symbol it tests that on each record here and if that is true it sets the variable uh, but this action block it doesn't have any any uh, pattern uh, before it so it, so it it will always execute this there is this special uh, awk thing that you can write end and that means it will execute this at the end of, of um, when all input is is uh, processed then it will execute the end block in awk but the thing is the input here it will it, it will just continue it, it doesn't stop until we uh, kill this process the i3 message subscribe process then the end block would get executed so this doesn't work either if we, if we try this we will not get any output at all here super e we get nothing super s nothing so what we need to do is uh, to add this to, to like the end. Uh, let's do this. And then just add a print here that will print every record. Super S. And the thing with this JSON is that it, it will always be in the same order here. Uh, symbol will always come before command and command will co come before mods and mods will be the last. So we could uh, could do this uh, since mod will be the last w w when we know the modifiers then we know all we need to know about uh, uh, yeah all we need to know <laughs> that's all we need to know you know uh, so we could add it here to this block if we wanted to and then we will get something similar to what we are looking for. Sub keys, super S, there, super E, there, super shift, enter, there. And as you can see, now we only get uh, this output uh, when, when uh, now we all only have to, to um, format this in the way we want, so, so we get nicer uh, notifications. Let's bring up the notifications again, super Y, that will enable my notifications, here you can see this is how I want it to look like, super plus s, i3 run sublime blah blah blah, and here is how it looks like now, mod4 brackets plus quotes exec, there's some formatting we need to do, but uh, the most important thing is, uh, yeah, if I do super shift e here, uh, which uh, uh, focuses this uh, b container thunar instance here, you can see here, here is what I want it to look like, super shift E, here just say shift E, because you remember that the modification uh, modifica modifier list is uh, gets weird, and that's what we need to take care of first and foremost before we do anything else. <clears throat> now this will be a bit weird, a bit uh, dirty, but we, we can do it, we can do it. Uh, what we do is uh, we, we change this up a bit. Let's move that here and we do this instead. When uh, the first field is uh, mods, then instead of storing $2 in a variable, we just set, uh, set a new variable that we can call uh, getMods is equal to 1. Uh, and then we do uh, if getMods is equal to 1. Also notice here, single uh, equal sign means assign one to the variable. Double equal signs means compare the value of this var variable or the value of this with the value of this. It's uh, a very important thing. Uh, but if get mods is one, then we store um, or let's do this. Just to show you, print everything. So now we, we are back here again. If I super S, super shift E, we can see 
this is what we got. So when uh, $1 is, is mods here, then we just set a variable get mods. And then we test if get mods is equal to one, then we, we uh, add the last field to uh, a, a variable. So here the last field would, will be this, the first time here on get mods, but then get mods will be true on the next line as well. And then we can see, then we have mod four, and then we store the last field, which also is the only field. Uh, we add that also to our mod list here, or uh, what, 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 what we should call it. Uh, I could even do super shift control E there, just so we get an even weirder. Uh, 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 here, now shift control, now we have three different modifiers. And then, but, but then we have to also uh, stop getting mods when we are uh, done doing so. So we have to control here uh, uh, when, when, when we have gotten all modifiers. And we know that when we find a record that ends with a closing brackets. So if get mods is equal to one and uh, the current record ends with a closing bracket, stop uh, uh, getting mods. And this will work even if it's just one uh, modifier, you know. So here, now we only have one modifier. Then it will behave like this. Get mods will be one here. Then uh, next line here in awk, it will see, okay, if get mods is one, store the last field. And the last field will be this whole thing. And then we do a test. Uh, does this record uh, end with a bracket? Yes, it does. Okay, stop getting mods. So it will work for one for uh, uh, and more modifiers. I don't know if you followed, but maybe I should have written the code before I started to explain how it worked, but whatever. So if get mods is one, then uh, we could create, um, or we, we can uh, use this k mod uh, is equal to k mod plus uh, uh, last field. And then we also test if get mods is equal to one and remember if the uh, records last character and we can write that as a regular expression you could write it like this dollar zero uh, contains or matches uh, this regular expression meaning with a character class with just a closing bracket uh, as the character here uh, as the last character of, of that uh, string and the string is dollar zero if that is true then get mods is equal to zero um, and now also uh, now we can add because this when we, we we close get mods here that is then we really know that we got all the information we need it's it's not here anymore it's at this location these two uh, might uh, occur at the same uh, at the same record as uh, if there is only one modifier but if there are multiple modifiers these two will will be true on different records or lines in the output here so we extend this uh, get mods this is when we are done each binding and then we can print our findings sub keys super s there now it says plus mod 4 plus s super shift s or super shift e now it says mod 4 plus shift plus mod 4 plus e okay super uh, e now it says mod 4 shift mod 4 mod 4 plus uh, and as you can see something is wrong it, it just keeps on building up on this k mod uh, variable and that is because that's exactly what we're doing here. We need to clear the kmod variable here uh, uh, when we are done with each uh, each key binding. So we can just set it to an empty string like this. And now, now it, it should work. Super S, Super Shift E, Super E, Super S, Super Shift uh, return. And now uh, 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 we have this output. Now we are 
kind of close, but uh, again, let's take a look at my notification comparing them here. Now, this is how it looks like uh, in our output, and this is how it looks like here. The difference here is that super shift return, it says here, but here it says shift mod 4 return. There are two differences here. One is that mod 4 is called super. Another is that shift uh, has a capital S. So I would like to rename some of these modifiers. Uh, and also uh, in, in, in um, the notification, you can see that super is listed before shift. Uh, and uh, also super, yeah, yeah, let's just do super control shift. I know this uh, key binding or super control shift E. The command doesn't really work here, but it, it doesn't matter. No, no, it listed like this super control shift E, but here, here we have... Here it didn't list anything. Why didn't you super control shift E? That's weird. I don't know why it, uh, I, I think there's something weird going on when I do do this uh, subscri subscription at two places at the same time, maybe whatever. But there we could see super control shift E. It looks like this in my notification, super control shift. Here we have shift control super. So I would like to, to have a, I really want super or, or mod four to be the first key in the list and shift I, I like that as the last modifier in the list so that's another thing and that's uh, actually kind of uh, complicated to get working but we we can do it don't worry okay uh, 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 I think that's uh, that's uh, where we make a break in this video we only got this uh, stuff here now, but uh, next video we look at how to format these strings and, and that's actually, uh, it's not impossible, it's not super difficult, but it is more work than you might first think when you look at it. Thank you for watching everybody, have a great day.